57-year-old man is in jail tonight for running away with a Topeka teen. After being missing for two days, 14-year-old Chloe Honeycutt is now safe and in police custody. It's a story we broke on KSNT News, and KSNT News reporter Hannah Brandt is live along I-70 to tell us new details about the relationship between the pair. Hannah? Well, Brooke, Chloe disappeared Tuesday night, and today we've learned that she ran off with 47-year-old Michael Fitzgerald and the pair headed west to Colorado. People who knew them both say they weren't surprised that police found them together. Chloe Honeycutt was a student at Care Paravel, and 47-year-old Michael Fitzgerald was a volunteer sports coach at the school. When both of them were cast in a musical at Topeka Civic Theater, people instantly noticed an odd relationship. They just, like, would talk very close together, you know? And given that he was a full-grown man and she was a teenager, it was obvious, like, why are they standing so close together? You know, why are they, why is his hand on her like that? Alex Castaneda played Elf in the musical. He tells me he worked with Michael for more than a year and thought of him as a friend. He was so nice and kind. He was the kind of person, he was always so positive. You know, he always had a positive energy, never saw him upset or angry at all, never. But when Castaneda or other cast members asked Michael about his behavior with Chloe, they were alarmed that he called her his best friend. Weird. It's like, why is a 47-year-old man best friends with a 14-year-old? That's weird. Karen Smothers from the Family Guidance Center says teens have heavy emotions that may explain choices like these. That makes adolescents not only more at risk of making rash decisions, but it makes them very vulnerable um, and easy to exploit when somebody recognizes they're not being very thoughtful in their approach. Now Alex says he and other friends of Chloe are just relieved she's safe. We are here for her as a support system. No one blames her. Tonight, law enforcement tells us Fitzgerald will face charges in Colorado. Then he'll be brought back to Kansas where he could face state or federal charges. Live from I-70, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, Hannah, just so grateful that she is safe and okay.